Hey guys, welcome back to the Car Wars YouTube channel. Just got to the shop. Ed told me a bunch of parts came in for the Corvette. So I'm excited to see the parts and show you guys what we got. Hey guys, check this out. What's going on here? Oh, dude, what you I just doing? Pumped to work on the Corvette, man. Check this out, guys. I got an idea. Comment his name in the comment section below, and for however many times you guys comment his name, that's how many pull-ups he's gonna have to do for the next video. No, no, dude. How are you gonna throw me under the bus like that? That's messed up. <laughs> dude, what if they're gonna comment like more than once or something? Well, let's do one per subscriber. One pull-up per subscriber. One pull-up per subscriber. What is this like? Pull-ups for. Comments like what is this thing that you made up? But all right guys if you're really gonna make me do this You guys better not comment a bunch of times, but we got to get to the action working on the Corvette Don't worry guys. I'm gonna make sure he does every single pull-up one pull-up per subscriber Just drove eight hours Florida to, to take some parts they have a Grand Sport a donor Grand Sport in stock but at least we'll go to the beach after this it's like 45 today oh yes Grand Sport baby <whistles> so much goodies Got the inner fender off. And then that little radiator support thing. So most of the parts are in. We're still waiting on the knee assembly. That's supposed to come in tomorrow. Peter just did a quick 16 hour trip to Florida to get a bunch of parts there. But while I was waiting, we also received a bunch of boxes in the mail. So let's get those bad boys opened up and see what we got. A used wheel. We got a bumper. We'll open these boxes in a second. We got a absorber. We got a fender. Radiator support. We got the fiberglass inner fender right here. We got the little ducts. We got a hinge with the shock. And a few more little plastics. There's a battery tray. All right, first box, let's see what we got. A Moog inner tie rod and a fog light connector. Next box, we got two seat belt tensioners, but I think ours are good, so we might not even need them. Next box. ECU bracket. Nice. Ours was torn off. Next. Airbag. GM original. Nice. And next. Fog light. OEM. Used. And finally. Headlight. Passenger side headlight, but check that out. Look at that lens. The inner, the inside of the headlight is good, but the lens, I don't know what happened to it. We did order new lenses for both headlights because I think we'll be opening them up. So those are some of the parts that we got. We still got a bunch more coming, but now that we got the inner fender and the radiator support, we're actually gonna glue the fiberglass on and we're gonna throw on that radiator support but guys stay till the end of the video we actually got the color reveal so we did some tallying we added up the Facebook comments the Instagram the comment section in the YouTube channel and we actually got a winner you guys might be surprised how close of a race it was but for now the fender liner needs to go on so let's get cracking
All right, guys, so we had to knock down the old glue to put on the fender, inner fender. Looks like we got a white Christmas over here. It's not Christmas yet. There's Santa Claus. <laughs> So we got some bad news. We were taken down, we took down the glue and we were test fitting the inner fender. We were test fitting and we noticed that something's off in this area. So we ended up measuring it diagonally and this is not straight, this part, this rail. So we're gonna have to take it to the frame and get that straightened out, measure it out, see. Um, it has to come out a little bit So that's the situation on that. So before we can get it moved We have to get the other knee assembly. We have to put it on and that way we can take it to the frame Because we can't take it to the frame like this. It's at a different shop But that's not gonna stop us because we still got plenty of stuff to do We got we got to get these headlights taken care of we're gonna take them take them apart get them painted black So it matches the new color the wheels. We got to take off the wheels and uh, take the tires off of them, send them out to get them powder coated. And now it's time to reveal the color that we're gonna go with on this paint job. Your guys' voices have been heard. Every voice has been counted for. There has not been any collusion in this election. Possibly there was, since this is the internet. But we had mostly four colors. There has been some red, yellows, grays, and blacks, but we didn't really count those. Uh, mostly it was the bright colors purple blue orange green orange and green they actually tied but they both lost purple and blue they were going neck and neck at one point purple was winning at one point blue was winning but at the end one color just pulled out by six votes so without any further ado let's get a drum roll and blue is the color guys light blue so when we were going back and forth uh when purple was winning i was kind of like geez purple i wasn't too excited for it but it was kind of a rare color and we were looking up some purple colors but then blue started pulling out ahead so we started looking for blue ideas blue colors and we already came up with the color that we want to do so the shade that we're gonna go with is the Fistral Blue, or Fistral Blue McLaren color. Look at that. You guys can Google that color. So we're kind of going for the same idea. Blue with the black roof tinted back glass. Just kind of looking like that. So let us know in the comment section, what do you guys think? You guys love it? You guys hate it? You guys really want that purple? There was a lot of people that really wanted that purple. I was actually really surprised. But it is rare color, so it would have been kind of unique. But the blue has prevailed. So guys, subscribe to keep up with the action. Like, comment, let us know what you guys think. Also, don't comment my name in the comment section. That way I don't have to do them pull-ups. But it is what it is, and I'll see you guys on the next one.